Aren't they awesome? All right, everybody. So, 6,000 subscribers. This is mind-blowing to me. Back in March, I posted a video for uh, how to beat Mortal Kombat 2's AI. I posted it without thinking anything of it. Maybe it would help somebody. Maybe it will help a couple people who have, uh, you know, had issues with Mortal Kombat back in the day. Little did I know that it would blow up like it did, and uh, little did I know that the channel would blow up like it did. So that was back in March. In March, I had about 58 subscribers, and I just hit 6,000. It's mind-blowing to me. So thank, thank you, each and every one of you who uh, who's checked out my videos and who's left amazing comments, positive comments, even the one that even the ones that have left negative comments. I appreciate every one of you because the bottom line is you check me out. I had a notification a couple weeks ago, maybe a week ago or so actually, where YouTube tells you how you've done in the last month. And over 3.3 million minutes have been spent watching my videos. And I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Um, thousands, tens and thousands of comments on, uh, on Mortal Kombat back in the day. Shared experiences. Similar experiences to mine in regards to the game. And um, I, I had no idea there was such a big community of people who... Uh, who share the same feelings I do on the game. I had no idea so many people uh, got defeated by it. Um, I was I was included in that because I was defeated by the game back in the day too. But uh, little did I know that it was um, it was something that you know had been with people for for thirty years, and because of my <laughs> quick little tutorials and whatnot, they were able to uh, in fact beat the game. So. Uh, I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for each and every one of you who has watched, and uh, and I really do appreciate you. So with 6,000 subscribers now and uh, and so many views and whatnot, I figured I would pay it forward because, like I said, I had 58 subscribers. It's blown up to 6,000 now within a matter of three to four months, and uh, there's a lot of cool people that I've uh, interacted with and who uh, whose channels I've checked out for a while. And uh, so I want to give some shout outs to these people, uh, five, maybe six uh, in particular. All right. So if you haven't had a chance to check these channels out, check them out. Uh, these are some cool cats to, you know, to watch and to uh, interact with. They post some really good stuff. I did have to write them down. I know who they are, but I wanted to, uh, I wanted to make sure I didn't forget them. Right. So uh, first off, uh, at AP Lawrenson, uh, this guy's got maybe 15 videos on his channel. And I don't even know if he's looking for, you know, subscribers and whatnot, but he's done two videos in particular that really caught my eye that I liked. One was uh, three or four weeks ago. He posted a uh, video of, it's pretty much the same as what I'm doing. It's camera over the shoulder and uh, he beats Mortal Kombat 2 in one credit, Sub-Zero. Very impressive video. Uh, I definitely respect anybody who uses the uh, the same tactics as, as myself. So uh, give this guy a, guy a view if, if you can. Check him out. Um, he also does one more thing that's extremely impressive, but he beats Mortal Kombat 2 in one credit, uh, on his laptop using the keyboard. Now I know people play like Call of Duty and stuff with their keyboard and the mouse and they say it's, it's way better, but Mortal Kombat is something I would have never imagined being played on, uh, on a keyboard anyways. And this guy does it. He destroys MK2 in one life with, um, I think it's Reptile and he uses his keyboard, so... Uh, check him out. I'm going to post all the links to their channels uh, in the description for this video. So check them out if you can. Uh, somebody else, uh, at Glacius XL. I've mentioned him in a live stream before. Um, this guy is a true master at uh, Killer Instinct 1 and 2, uh, in particular, his channel. He uh, shows a lot of very, very thorough tutorials on how to play these games. So if you're ever looking to uh, revisit these games on the Xbox, uh, Glacius XL will definitely make you excel at these games if you watch his uh, his videos i had the pleasure of playing him in a live stream on uh, wednesday on a wednesday uh mortal kombat 2 and 3 we played together and uh we were neck and neck uh he actually gave me the stats after uh the, the day after he uh, he told me that i had won 17 matches and he had won 17 matches so it was very back and forth 
but this guy he just he plays for the love of the game like myself he's not out there to uh you know to show off or to uh to make himself better than he is he does it because he loves it he posts these tutorial visits visits he posts these tutorial videos uh because he loves playing the games he, he's broken them down over the years and he's really uh he's really figured them out so uh, if you're in killer instinct and mortal kombat he's posted a lot of cool mortal kombat videos then check out this this guy also um third uh at console fanboy now i find you either love or you hate this guy and even if you hate him his videos are still entertaining in my opinion i've said this before he is the uh, slim shady to my channel he is the uh, polar opposite in content anyways but uh, I've interacted with him a few times. He's actually a real cool cat also. Um, you know, his videos, he looks like a dick, but, uh, but again, that's part of the appeal. It's what, it's what he's going for, I find, right? He says things a lot of people that, you know, a lot of people would kind of shy away against or, or take offense at, but I was raised probably in the same time as this guy and things were different. We lived in a different world where everyone wasn't always so sensitive and you could say jokes without getting you know, torn to pieces by, by people. And, uh, you know, I respect his, I respect his opinions in his videos. That's, you know, we're allowed to have our opinions good or bad about other people. So console fanboy keeps it, uh, keeps his videos funny. He never veers from his formula, uh, and, and from who he is. And so because of that, I really, uh, think you should give this guy, guy a watch, give some of his videos a watch, show him some love. Um, you know, and if he's not your thing, then he's not your thing. But I, I really enjoy the guys. So, console fanboy, that's another one. Uh, I'm going to give this guy a shout out. He doesn't need my shout out, but I'm going to give it to him anyways. Uh, at 19K Fox. Now, the reason I really respect this guy is because it was his video that I used to swap out the monitor for my MK 30th. I wouldn't even be able to make these videos with the monitor that this cabinet came with originally. Uh, because of his video, and his, it was a 16-minute tutorial on how to swap it out with another monitor. Uh, he's given me such enjoyment out of this cab now. That's the reason I can videotape it, because the screen's not washed out like the monitor that it came with. And so, uh, because of his videos, he does talk a lot about uh, arcade one-up games. I think he talks about iArcade games. I've checked out a, a bunch of his stuff. I've even uh, I've watched a couple of his live streams and whatnot. I just kind of sat quietly in the back and just didn't watch and listen to what he had to say. And, uh, you know, he seems like a pretty cool, cool guy. And so for that, uh, for that fact, and, f you know, for those reasons alone, I say give the guy a watch and, uh, you know, check out his channel if you get a chance to. Okay, last but not least, uh, is my buddy Tassos, okay? His ad is really long. Tassos, if you get a chance to change the, uh, you know, the link to your channel, then do it because it, it's a little too long. His uh, link is at Tassos Classic Games and Stuff 7923227. So it's a little long. What I really like about Tassos, okay, there's two things. So when I made that first video on how to beat the, uh, the AI in Mortal Kombat 2, um, you know, it reached a handful of people. I posted it back in March and, uh, you know, got a few views here and there. I think by the end of three months, I got about uh, 2,000 views, which to me was mind-blowing. But one view in particular was uh, Tassos, and he loves retro games, okay? So if you check out his channel, he's playing Atari, he's playing Game Boy, he's playing uh, Sega Genesis, he's playing the arcade cabs, he's playing it all. And he does some pretty amazing things. Uh, beats Shinobi in, in one credit. Um... He, ple he beats Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition in, in one credit without losing a round. Like, he does some amazing things. And he visits a lot of Game Boy games that I really loved uh, growing up, too. And uh, so for that reason alone, he's worth checking out, right? Um, his presentation is very, uh, it's very raw, you know, just like me. Camera, you know, in the back. A lot of his videos, there's a lot of room around him and stuff because the camera's so far back and whatnot. But I respect that. I, I appreciate the uh, authenticity of these videos in regards to that. He keeps it old school, pretty much like myself. I mean, he does have some intros and outros and whatnot, and he edits here and there, but it's pretty sloppy. Uh, sorry, Tassos, I'm not putting you down. But because of that, I find him very, um, very endearing, and uh, he's genuine in what he's doing. He's got a wicked uh, video game collection that he shows in one of his videos. 
and uh, I just I, I just really dig the guy. So he he uh, responded to my video before it took off with a video of his own, and he was able to get through Mortal Kombat 2 in one life with Scorpion, and he was super happy about it. He gave me a shout out, and uh, and I thought it was so cool. I was showing a buddy of mine at work, um, and th again, this is when my channel was maybe at 100 subscribers or whatever, and I showed a guy at work. I was like, hey, somebody actually watched my video. Shout out to uh, Nathan too, he's my buddy at work. And, um, and he thought it was pretty cool too. So uh, Tassos, if you, uh, if you have a chance, check this guy out. Uh, give him some support, watch some of his videos. He, he just, he does it like myself because he loves the game. He loves the games that he's playing. He's got a lot of good memories and I kid you not, he's, he, whether he'll admit it or not, he's a pro when it comes to these retro games. He might be humble and be like, you know, this took me a long time or this and that, but he, he's a pro, so check him out. Um, okay, and that's that's pretty, mu pretty much it. Um, again, thank, thanks to everybody for watching these videos, uh, for getting to me, getting to me, getting me to where I am now on, on YouTube. I'm having a lot of fun doing this, and I've been flooding the feed with videos and stuff just because I'm playing all the time now. And uh, I figured, you know what, if I'm playing, pull the camera out and I'll, uh, I'll take some videos and as long as you guys like watching and listening to my talking and whatnot, then I'll just, I'll keep doing it, right? I've said before, once it becomes, you know, it's no fun or whatever anymore, then I'll stop making the videos, but I don't see that happening. Whether I get one view or 2,000 views, um, it's all worth it to me if I'm having fun doing it, so. One more person I'm going to shout out. I'm not going to post their uh, link in the uh, in the description, but if you get a chance to check out the, uh, the Cornercade, uh, check these guys out too. There's a lot of eye candy on that channel. The guy's got an incredible, uh, it's him and his wife doing it, but they've got an incredible arcade in their basement. But uh, I find a lot of his videos is kind of, uh, like they're good, but just to where the camera goes, you know, to uh, to his wife and whatnot, you can kind of tell what he's doing. Um, the first thing that comes to mind is the old sex sells thing, but you know what, he's doing his thing, whether you want to watch it or not, that's up to you. I, I do enjoy his informative videos where he's talking about the uh, the arcade games and the cabs themselves. Um, some of his other videos, though, you can you can tell he's trying to get views uh, in other ways. But uh, whatever, that's my opinion. If you got a problem with it, uh, you know, so be it. So yeah, check him out if you get a, if you get a chance uh, at uh, at the corner gate is what to what theirs is. So, anyways, uh, that's it for this video. Thank you very much. I hope uh, I hope you've sat through this whole thing and listened to the whole thing because uh, these people definitely deserve uh, to be checked out. And uh, I'm just, like I said, I'm just paying it forward. Hopefully we can get these guys some subscribers and views and stuff, whether they need them or not, or whether they're looking for them or, for them or not. Um, I just want to uh, pay it forward in that sense. So thank you very much for watching. I'm going to bring you back uh, some more great Mortal Kombat uh, content. Hopefully I got some more lists in my head that I've been coming up with. Um, so I'm just going to keep posting that kind of stuff and uh, a little bit of retro gaming here and there in, in regards to other games, like, uh, cause I've had some people asking if I could check out this game and that game and this game and that game. And when Mortal Kombat 1 comes out in September, I'll definitely be showing some of that. Um, my skills aren't going to be up to par with these uh, new players nowadays, but nowadays, but I'm just a casual gamer and, uh, if you've been following me for the last month or so, you know what to expect anyways. So. All right, guys, thank you very much for uh, watching. Take care of yourselves and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you very much.